Welcome. Today we're going to show you what PAPM Cloud looks like from a modeling point of view. PAPM Cloud is a very useful advanced financial modeling tool which is built from the ground up to be business user friendly. It means that models are built by using the palette which includes all the functionalities they are and allows me to do things like write data, do queries, conversions, transfer structures, derivations, allocations, calculations and all of that with simulation functionality, collaboration and workflow on top. Now, to do this, in this context for Pillar 2, we have pre-built business content. That pre-built business content goes from three points of view. First of all, we need to integrate the data sources so we can see there's things coming from an input template, from a financial data source, there's version details, and we can then pull that into the actual calculations that need to take place, like data preparation, mm -hmm. the constituent entities within scope, the globe income, the cover taxes, the effective tax rate, the IRR and the uh, under text rate, the results reporting and preparation. We can update version details and the end result is then written away in reporting formats and tables that we can use for further reporting or third party posting of those taxes. So what we can do here now is take a look at, okay, how are these calculations configured? How does this work? So if we go and click on any element, we can get details on what's going on. In this case, the cover taxes calculation, I can give a double click. And we see here, let me try and zoom in slowly for you guys. Uh -huh. We can see what the calculation means. So what's going on here in the calculation? There's a specific link to where is the data coming from. There might be a lookup taking place, getting additional data. There's the signature of the data that's being taken, which fields are selected, what are the actions that need to take place. And then we can see the actual calculation rules taking place. Now, setup of each of these calculation rules can then take place by opening up on the right side. And here we can see at the different nodes what means that we're selecting a value, whether we're doing any transformations or calculations on calculation level. Now, if I want to look at all of these rules together, I can easily do this. And here on the right side, I can now see how the calculations have been set up in the system. So we can see whether the rule is active. We can, of course, drag and drop additional calculation elements in here. And pretty much this is the place where calculations are entered in the pretty much Excel-like format. This is what I wanted to show you in the system. And if you go back down, again, I can go back out as easily as I went in, close down the cover taxes. And then, of course, we can do the same for IRR, where in this case, it's more about the tax rule types, getting the receiver data, prepare the receiver for offsets and now do allocations of these things to third parties. So this is no longer a pure room, this is a pure calculation. The yellow ones are, for example, um, joints of data. We're taking data from several sources, sources, getting them together. And then the green one in this case is the block for an allocation. We can see here we're allocating to third parties. I can double click again and we can now go and see what is the allocation rule that's been applied to do this um, send rule 100% is there a sub view what's the variant what's the receiver rule uh, what's the logic being used to actually allocate this out so this is the way it works so we can always go to a lower level and at the lowest level where I'm here now where you have the signature the, the actual rule being set up and the check that it's going to validate the calculation or the allocation being used. I hope this is enlightening. If you want to know anything more, just reach out to me and I'll happily come back to you with more details about PAPM and how it can help you with specific tax, tax, um, direct tax calculations, but also things like um, profitability and performance management, IT costing and so on.